Now, um, possibly, unfortunately, uh, we come to the second um, area of quality of service. And this is the area of precedence or priority. The... Um, now, I mean, there are definitely um, uses for uh, priority in quality of service, or quality of service in, in terms of priority. Um, if we uh, have requirements for important traffic, um, for uh, sensitive information or, or services, resources that must be available and availability is is part of what we're doing here uh then yes uh we need to be able to set up uh some kind of uh quality of uh service um management of the totality of network traffic such that the priority is given to the most important uh, resources, functions, or information. Um, and there, there are ways and means of doing this. And as we get into uh, areas such as uh, federated communications, where we're combining uh, voice, uh, streaming, um, video and data of various types. Uh, we uh, have systems such as uh, ATM um, to uh, ensure that we can, uh, yeah, as well, not maybe guarantee because there's never any guarantees, but um, that. Uh, we are making sure, as, as sure as we can, uh, that the important stuff gets through. Unfortunately, um, while quality of, assurance, quality of service has this um, proper function, uh, the technology and even the terminology um, has been turned to marketing purposes. And so we get um, uh, differentiated service, which is appropriate given different types of uh, traffic and um, different levels of importance. Uh, but we also get differentiated service in terms of you know, how much are you paying? Uh, how um, important are you to the communications provider? Uh, e either in financial terms or, or in other uh, areas as well. So um, we have these, uh, well, really misuses of both the technology and the terminology in relation to quality of service. Um, we, well, I, I'll just leave that there and uh, we'll um, continue on with uh, looking at these uh, distinctions. Um, we, um, we do have preferences, we do have priorities, um, and some of these, as I say, are appropriate. Um, we uh, need to look at the uh, type of communications function, uh, such as we did with uh, latency and jitter. Um, you know, which, uh, uh, which function are we providing, and therefore what type of uh, quality of service are we aiming for? in regard to this type of traffic and, and can we accommodate all of the different types um, again by 
federating our communications. Um, we are, in a sense, uh, building a, uh, uh, a larger total bandwidth and giving ourselves more options in terms of the, uh, the uses that we can uh, make of, of this total bandwidth. Um, prioritizing some of it in terms of uh, reduction of jitter, um, prioritizing other in reduction of, of latency, um, and uh, sometimes not prioritizing it because the, um, you know, it's important that the information gets there, but not necessarily important that it gets there quickly or in uh, order as, you know, we have uh, reassembly and resequencing options that we can use. Um, so we're, you know, we're looking at that. Um, we are working uh, with regard to um, uh, our capabilities in regard to um, putting uh, different uh, uh, technologies in place to to reduce delays, to to make delays consistent, um, in order to uh, best address what we are trying to do with this communications function. Um, and we can uh, we can do that in a variety of ways. Um, we'll you know we'll talk about uh, dedicated bandwidth. Um, we're uh, you know talking about uh, things like best effort services and and differentiated services and and we'll get into that um, in the next uh, uh, clip.